Hello, welcome to the demo of the ASCOM driver for my homemade telescope mount. SkyMap can connect to ASCOM via a hub. If we configure SkyMap, we can see that I'm using the hub, and if we configure the hub, we can see that the hub is pointing at the homemade telescope mount driver. If we just cancel out of all those screens. Right, now we'll connect SkyMap to the telescope mount. We can see SkyMap is now connected to the telescope mount. On the control window, uh, we can see a number of fields uh, the local sidereal time, the hour angle, the local scope time, uh, the altitude current azimuth, the right ascension and declination that the scope is currently pointing at. These rather exciting dials show me the position of the pulleys so I can calculate periodic error and we can see the encoder counts of the motors down here. This area is used to control the periodic error correction and over here are some more obvious controls and down here the nudge controls for the telescope. In SkyMap we can see the cross flashing just next to Polaris indicating that the telescope is in its current polar home position. We can see the scope status is parked so the first thing to do is press the unpark button. Immediately we start to see things happening. The RA encoder count starts to go up as the scope is tracking the sky we can see the pulleys going round. Not a lot happening with these numbers because the scope's pointing at Polaris still. We can see the cross in sky map pointing at the North Celestial Pole. Let's go and find a star over here and right click on it to slew to that star. The telescope sets off and all the numbers start to change very quickly as the position of the telescope changes. Back in sky map we can see that the little cross has walked across the sky to the selected star. Eventually the scope status changes back to tracking when we've reached the target. We can also see the alt and as changing now as the scope slowly tracks around the sky. Down here we can select different speeds and move the scope using the nudge controls. As you can see the encoder count changing. We'll stop that. We'll go north and you can see that encoder count changing as the scope heads north. And you can see the RA not moving but the tech deck going up. We'll stop the scope. In SkyMap we'll now select a different star over here to Deneb. Right click, slew to Alpha Cygnus. Off goes the scope again travelling across the sky we can see the little cross following the telescope's motion across the sky in SkyMap until it reaches Deneb. Now let's say we look up the scope and we see we're not quite pointing at Deneb so we use the nudge controls to adjust the scope so it really is pointing at Deneb. You can see the little cross isn't quite pointing at Deneb now. If we sync to Deneb that will correct the scope's pointing and the little cross is now pointing back on Cygnus and the telescope actually knows where it is. Because I'm using a hub I can connect other astronomy software to the mount at the same time. For example if we open Maxim and bring up the observatory control which is configured to point at the hub we can connect Maxim and looking on the telescope tab we can see Maxim knows where the scope is and what it's doing. I can connect other astronomy software at the same time such as PhD guiding or other software. Once we've finished with the scope the final task is to park the scope. So we press the park button and the scope starts slewing. We can follow its progress in SkyMap. The scope parks the right ascension axis first 
so we see the cross here moving slowly around the sky and then eventually the deck motor will kick in and the cross moves back towards Polaris. As you can see we're nearly there once it reaches the right position the status changes to parked. 